Hi, I'm Sam here with jbugs.com. While we're working on the chassis of a 1971 Super Beetle, we added something that VW should have done from the factory. Some of you may have noticed it in our floor pan video, but what we did is added a clutch cable access port on the tunnel. Granted, it isn't very often that the clutch cable has to be replaced, but every time we have to pull out the pedal assembly to replace a clutch cable, we have to shake our heads at the design. Before we start, we'll make sure to say, wear appropriate protective gear, work in a safe and well-ventilated environment, and only perform work that is well within your capability. Cutting, grinding, and welding can all be dangerous, so make sure to use the necessary precautions. While we're on the subject of the clutch cable, we verify that the clutch cable tube in the tunnel is secure. We can see at some point that the tunnel had been opened up for a repair, and we want to make sure that we don't have to fix or repair the tube again. We'll start our access tunnel by looking through the driver's side of the pan so we can locate the cable brace inside the tunnel and make sure that we don't cut through it on the opposite side. Looking closely on the passenger side of the tunnel, we can see the spot welds for the brace, and we'll use a drill and a three inch hole saw to drill a hole in front of the brace into the side of the tunnel. With the first hole drilled, we move forward on the tunnel a bit and drill out one more hole so that we end up with a figure eight cutout of sorts. We use a cutoff wheel on an angle grinder to open up the hole into an oval, and then we grab a sheet of aluminum to use as a cover plate. We mark and cut out the aluminum to shape. Then back at the chassis, we smooth out the edges of the cutout and the cover plate. Since we don't have the floor pans in place at the moment, we'll make sure to position the cover up high enough on the tunnel so the new pan will fit below it. Then we'll use some self-tapping screws to drill into the tunnel through the plate. A hammer and large vise are used to shape the cover plate while we install the screws. And with that, we have a simple but very useful access point for the future. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the like button below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And when you need parts for your vintage VW, head over to jbugs.com.